Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, August 18th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. I've already fed Hermione and she's already gone out even though it's not even six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I have with me this beautiful depiction of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. My favorite disciple Mary Magdalene was. I even wrote a book about her called Healed. I think I can identify with her as so many of us can. And uh, that notion of being healed and being held. We continue today in the Gospel of John. The disciples are always looking for Jesus and they are waiting on the shore for him and he doesn't come so they get in their boat to go to Capernaum and a storm comes and the water gets pretty wild and they're scared and they see Jesus walking towards them on the water and that terrifies them even more. And he says, don't be afraid. It's me, I'm here. He gets in the boat and immediately they get to their destination. So Jesus knew the water and he knew boats. He was very familiar with boats, but he also could transcend the limits of nature. When he wanted to get to them, he just walked on the water. This passage, along with a few others, really mystifies scholars and theologians because we don't know how. Um, it doesn't make any physical sense. We know Jesus was the incarnation of God, but he was also human. He had a human body. He lived within the laws of gravity. So how did he walk on the water? Well, that's where the mystery comes in. That's where the Son of God part comes in. And so just like it scared the disciples, it kind of scares us. And so we look at these passages and kind of don't know what to do with them, except to listen to Jesus's words. Don't be scared, I'm here. Don't be scared, it's me. There's so much about God that we don't understand. There's so much about even our own world that we don't understand, how to care for it better, how to live in peace with one another. Walking on water is just the tip of the iceberg of all the things that we don't understand. But the main thing that Jesus says is he doesn't explain how he did it. <laughs> he doesn't explain about faith or gravity or whatever it is that he did. All he says is just, it's me. Don't be scared, it's me. And he stays with them and he gets them where they need to go. I guess that's why we call him savior because we just need Jesus, God, to get us where we need to go. We really don't know how to get there on our own. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for saving us and the older that we get, the more wise we get to how confounding and mysterious and difficult life is, the more we recognize that we need you. We need the one who walks on water, who gets us where we need to go immediately, who just simply says, don't be afraid and I'm here, but doesn't try to explain to us things that we can't comprehend. Help us to lean into you to trust you and to do your will, knowing that we may never understand in this life how it is that you walk on water, how it is that you save us or get us where we need to go. Lord, bless the sick today. Bless those who mourn. Bless the hungry, those who struggle in poverty. 
bless those who are addicted, who struggle with mental illness. Bless those who are caretakers and who are weary. Give us peace, Lord, this day and always. And guide us today to just be with you and to allow you to help us get where we need to go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.